in the story of Hannah, we see a, a marvelous woman, a woman of strength who has shown that she has grown even through God's uh, working with her. She felt desolate because she did not have children, and that was very significant in these days in 1 Samuel, because to have children meant security, uh, particularly a male child that would hopefully turn around and keep you in your older age and provide for you when you were in need. So to have a situation where there were no children, it not only meant that you were presently boy, but it meant that your future was very bleak. It was very hopeless. And so not only was her security, Hannah's security tied into having a child, but her identity was. Because being a woman meant being able to produce children. So she did not have the security and she did not have an identity. So in, in a way she was handicapped. She, she was immobilized in both of her, her mental legs. And so being insecure and, and not having this identity, she poured out her heart to God. And God answered and he blessed her. But the thing that's so amazing is that not so much this that she was blessed, but she gave Samuel back to God. And it shows us that she grew in her security and identity, and she now found those not in having a child, but in having Jesus. She found her security in being known that Jesus would provide for her, that God loved her. And he did not love her because of what she could produce, but he loved her because of who she was, regardless of her production. In fact, that made her even more of a candidate for his love because she lacked so much. So that's why, friend, as we look at Hannah, we must not overlook her. See how she grew from taking her security from children and putting it in her heavenly husband, Jesus Christ. And even not finding her identity as a woman in what she could produce, but in what God is able to do. She showed that faith by giving Samuel back to God. And he honored that and blessed her over five times more with children. So she was blessed six times over from one prayer. Again, that's why we should sing. And that's why we should never hoard our blessings. Because by giving that one son back, look at God's economy. He gave her back five more children. That's not equal Currency. I'm, I'm, I'm not an economist by any means, but I know that if I get one and get back five, that's a good deal. And that's why Jesus deserves the praise. And that's why it makes so much sense to not just let our lives out, but lay them down and know that we serve a God who can bless us once, twice, three, five, six times over when we believe. God bless you, and until next time, remember that change is good.